All right, evening, gentlemen. We're back at it tomorrow in Blaine. Uh, session 17. So they're starting to pile up. So we're looking at, again, you know, we're going to refocus or focus again on the stuff that we had worked on last uh, last Wednesday, actually. So the creation phase and how we break the final line. So just some reminders as far as what we're trying to create in that final phase. You know, we want to maintain our optimal width. So the, the term is optimal. So we still want to have enough width that stresses the opposition but allows us to create angles to get in and create finishes and create assists. Next piece is the creation, and we're adding the exploitation of wide overloads. So we had good structures, especially you know from a USL two perspective. Um, you know, good structures, good movements, good rotations, but we didn't exploit it at the, with the speed and purpose that we needed to on a consistent basis. And then again, always looking to attack the back of the opposition line. And now we're starting to look at, all right, we've got into these positions. What kind of assists can we create? So an open box, an early, which is an early service, or a closed box, we're looking for a cutback. So more specifically, looking at what an open box creates. So for us, open box just means that opposition back line are racing back towards our goal. There's clear space between the back line and the goalkeeper. And we're trying to create dangerous service that's tough for the opposition to deal with as they're racing back towards their own goal. The how in that is a bent ball that whips in. We don't really need it to be in the air. We want it to be on the ground or barely off the ground, making it really tough to deal with um, so that we can hit it early and hit and whip into that space. So an example comes from Wake Forest from this past year. Doesn't create a goal, but here you go. Open space, whips a ball into that dangerous area and creates a finish. So if you look at the prior, prior diagram, that space is in front of the goalkeeper in between the back line, whips a ball in, it's not an aerial ball. It's a ball that we could run onto. The other piece would be a closed box. So this is similar to what we've been training a lot, the cutback. So we've got in behind the outside back. We're now able to now get our hips turned and play a ball back across um, into that second six area, so around the penalty spot. So when do we do this? So this is when we drug the opposition deep. So we've gotten the ball deep on the inline, pulls the opposition deep. Now we're looking to hit that space off the back of them now that they're along the goal line. So again, just a different space. We've created space elsewhere. It's important that we that we cover this, the post as we come in. So focus on the ball and our runner to the first post drags people away. That leaves that second six free. So we need to get numbers into the box. And then that continued effort to get to the end line, get your head up and pick your pass to come back onto that second six. So from a session perspective, um, we're gonna hit it with an exercise we did last Wednesday, a little 5v2 to break the line rondo. So. Five versus two, building, keeping possession, looking for the right time to time a movement in behind from a player facing forward. And that's how we collect points. So it'll be another two two team game where everyone's taking turn attacking and defending. Exercise two, we're gonna revisit an exercise we've done early in the, earlier in the year. So it's a six v six plus two wide neutral players. Um, similar, we're gonna have that zone to be broken. So that line that needs to be broken with our service. So in the past, the wingers were looking to slide people in, the wide neutrals. Now we're gonna provide an option for them. So if they can get the ball early with time and space, can they get a touch out their feet and whip an early ball in that we can finish freely? If they cannot do that, if pressure gets out to them tight, can we slide a, a ball in so we're attacking the back of that defender? And then we're looking for the cutback finish. So that's exercise two. So a little 6v6 plus 2, and then we'll, we'll end it with 11v11. And again, we're going to cut the corners off the field. This is where we start to talk about in the original objectives is optimal width. As we get closer to the goal, we need width, but we need enough width to stretch the opposition and also get ourselves in places that we can produce assists. Because we're focused on that assist zone, which is the outside of the 6 to the edge of the 18, we need to funnel our play into that space that creates more consistent finishing opportunities, which will create more consistent goals, which can, which creates moments that we can lean on throughout the season versus random moments that work out just due to the law of probability. So again, consistent moments, consistent goals is our target. We'll see everyone tomorrow.